and salutations. It is, what day is it today? It is Saturday, February 28th. It's the last day of February. And we're gonna talk Reading with Leashes 3, Drinking from the Sunwell. So, um, these are the 12 pets that you need to get in order to get cutie, or cute, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, I don't know if I can read this, no I cannot. Okay, so the pets are, I'm just gonna make sure that you how much you guys can see. Okay, that's enough. So the pets are uh, from Black Temple. So you get this one, the Abyssius, the Leviathan Hatchling, these three, the Fragment of Anger, the Fragment of Desire, the Fragment of Suffering, and the Sister of Temptation. They also drop from Sunwell. You get the Chaos Pup, the Sunblade Micro Defender, and the Wretched Servant. And they also drop from uh, Battle from Mount Hygel or Hygel Summit, and they are the Hygel Wisp, Stink Rot, and a Grotesque, which is just an awesome gargoyle. And all of these, like I said before, how would I spell? Reward Kiyut, which is a Naru. Unfortunately, it can't battle, but it's freaking adorable, and I love it. So, how do you acquire them? Well, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you on Atlas because it's kind of the easiest way to do it. So we're going to go to Outline Instances and we're going to go Black Temple. So you go into Black Temple. The first boss drops, excuse me, um, the Leviathan. The second boss drops the Abyssal guy. Um, you absolutely have to kill the third guy in order for D to unlock. Um, you can skip this one, go sh over to B, which gets you down here. So you're going to come out here, you're going to run over here, kill this guy, and you can fight the fourth guy, you absolutely don't have to go back to B. Um, C you can skip as well. And then go back in. Now D will be open, so you run around through here. Where are you? Let's see. And run through here. And you kill this boss. And this is the last boss you have to kill. She's like a mother of a harem, kind of, and she drops the uh, Sister of Suffering, I believe. Yeah, Sister Temptation. Um, the Reliquary of Souls, which is the three faces, will drop one of these three, and you need all three. Good luck! Um, Black, that was Black Temple. So, the next one we are going to do is Mount Hyjal. Hyjal's pretty straightforward. It's annoying with one person, but it absolutely can be done. So, when you enter at one, um, you're gonna go to the Alliance base first, which is, or you enter here, sorry, you're gonna enter the Alliance base first, you have to swing the left. And then, you start here. You're gonna fight Rage, there's, it fights in waves, so you're gonna have eight waves of enemies, and they're all melee, so it's really easy, and then you're gonna fight a boss, Rage Winter Chill. Then you're gonna get eight more waves of enemy, enemies, again, all melee, and then you're gonna fight a Netheron, who rewards you, uh, the little ghoul guy. What's his name? How did I learn how to spell? Oh my goodness. <coughs> yeah, stink Rod. Bless you. Or words you stink about this guy who's freaking adorable. I love him. Alright. And then you run along a path and you get to be the horde entrance. And then you fight uh, eight waves, and some of them are melee and some of them are ranged. So it's really handy if you have two groups of people, if you have two people one to do the melee and one to run around doing all the range stuff because you have to mount up. Soloing, this part takes the longest. Uh, first boss is Kazrigal, and the second boss after eight waves is Asgalar, Asgalor, and he drops the gargoyle pet uh, Grotesque. And then you run around, <clears throat> you pass Tyrand. If you are level 100, you can just drop right down. Um, Tyrand will give you, if you're doing this at a lower level, Tyrand will give you an item that'll allow you to uh, slow your fall damage because if you don't kill him fast enough, he throws you up in the air and you take fall damage. Um, and you kill him and he drops the Hydral Wisp. And that's it for Hydral Summit. It's really, really simple. And then the last one is Sunwell. This one I don't know as well because I've never had one drop. So that one, that 
one and that one. Okay. Oh, wow. Hold up. I was at the hubby's garrison because he had the Draenei, the Draenic Dust Trader, and I really wanted it because I had over a, almost 2,000 Draenic Dust. Anyway, apologies. So, Sunwell. Atlas. Close you. Okay. So, we are back to Outland. Oh, no, that is... Where's the Sunwell? Uh-oh. Uh I guess it's technically Eastern Kingdoms, isn't it? Sunwell. Here we go. Okay. So you enter at A. The first boss, um, you can't really skip bosses in Sunwell, but the good news is it's very linear, so it makes it easier to go. So you're going to kill um, Calagos, kind of, and then you go around. You're going to end up over here. You go straight and then around. You end up here. Brutalis drops this guy, the, Sun, the Sunblade Micro Defender. And then you have to wait and fight another guy. Um, it'll take a while to spawn. I find if you run to the fire, it tends to kick into high gear. And then you run around, and then you fight the Eridar twins. You kind of have to jump down. Is there a second thing? There isn't. So you kind of have to jump down. And uh, the Eridar twins um, drop the next one. Uh, and they are Grand Warlock and Lady Sacralash. They will drop the Wretched Servant. There are two of them. It's really easy to fight. And then you jump, you keep running, and you will fight Maru, who's really kind of in four. This is kind of wrong. It's in four, and then you run around and kill, kill Jaden. Uh, Maru is a Naru that's kind of been corrupted by Entropius, and then that pet drops the Chaos Pup, or that boss drops the Chaos Pup, and then that's it. And then once you get all 12, you get this adorable little thing, which I cannot wait to get. So the achievement is called Raiding with Leashes 3, Drinking from the Sunwell. And yeah, there's a checkpoint. Again, these work just like the other Raiding for Leashes, so you can go onto the auction house and try and get them. But that's pretty much it. I hope you found that helpful. It's really, really easy. These are three of the easier raids to solo. Um, the only stupid one, in my opinion, and I don't mean stupid in that the raid is stupid, just in that the mechanics are kind of dumb, uh, is Hygel Summit because there's the one part where you have to run around and kill stuff and then mount up and run and kill the next group because they're really widespread. But other than that, if you're doing it with two people, it's a lot easier, but then of course you usually then are rolling for pets. So anyway, I wish you luck. I hope you get them. I am at four and I will let everybody know when I get it so I can show off the ridiculously cute little mini Naru. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.